Good morning. Welcome to my studio. I have a great tutorial for you today on how to make a decorative pillow cover and it comes together really fast. This is the one I made last night using one of my color study block uh, blocks that I have that I've just recently finished up. So you're going to need a few things to make the cover. You're going to need a quilt block and we I know a lot of us have those um, just that didn't a random quilt block that didn't fit into a quilt. And I'm going to talk about an 18 inch block today, but you can transfer this pattern to fit any size block that you would have. So here's my 18 inch block, another one of my um, color studies. You're going to need some batting. I like to use fusible fleece. It's a nice lightweight batting that won't be too stiff for a pillow. Um, you're going to need two pieces of backing fabric. And for an 18 inch block, you're going to need two 18 inch by 13 inch pieces. Um, and then you're going to put a hem on each one side of each 18 inch side. So to prep the block, you're going to um, fuse the fleece to the back of the block and quilt it. Um, I typically, I haven't put fabric on the back, but if you want to put fabric on the back, you can. It's just going to make it a little bit thicker for your pillow. You're going to trim up and square up the pillow after you quilt it or excuse me, the block, and then you can lay it. I like to lay it top, the top face down, with the top of the pillow, the furthest away from me. So then you're gonna add your backing pieces. Like I said, the backing pieces for an 18 inch block are 18 by 13 cut. And then you're gonna add a quarter inch hem on each, on one side of each of them. So the first piece you're gonna lay, you're gonna start at the bottom and lay that raw edge even with the bottom of your pillow block. And then you're gonna take the other one and just lay it to the top. And you're, what you're gonna do is create that six inch overlap that will hold the pillowcase on without needing a zipper. And the rest of it comes together kind of like a quilt. We're gonna sew around the edge, pin everything and then sew around the edge um, edge of the block and then you can trim up again if you need to. Then you're going to need about 80 inches of binding. Um, I like to cut my binding at two and a quarter inch. You're going to attach your binding just like you would attach it to a quilt and then you're done. It, that, that is ready to tuck the pillow in and use. Fantastic way, no zippers, no fuss, gives you this really nice piped edge look to your pillows. 